Um, you mentioned, sorry, testing, okay. One of the steps was to have an active prayer life. Mm -hmm. um, what do you suggest for a person who struggles with praying? Mm -hmm. um, say, for instance, if you're trying to pray at night when it's time to go to sleep, you might fall asleep praying. Um, you set a timer to, do, to pray. Like, how do you just, what do you, what do you suggest the car time out to do that and to do it, quote unquote, the right way? Uh, there is no wrong way to pray. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. In other words, you want to make sure that you're intentional about your prayer uh, and not being too hard on yourself that you have to set an alarm. Uh, when you're in your car and you're in, tra in traffic, what I would like to suggest is that you look for an opportunity. You look for an opportunity. Oh, this is a perfect opportunity. Even if it's two minutes or three minutes, as long as it's heartfelt, because what you're gonna do is find yourself finding opportunities. And then five minutes turn to 10 minutes, 10 minutes turn to 15 minutes. And now you're no longer asleep or falling asleep. But uh, don't look at that as a negative thing either. Why wouldn't you fall asleep in the presence of God? and wake up in the presence of God. So we gotta make sure that the devil don't make us think that what we're doing is not good enough because remember, we don't do works. We're not doing things to earn. Remember, Christ came down here and earned what we did not deserve. However, we're learning how to operate this thing. So tonight, when you're on your way home, turn your radio off and say, hey God, it's me. Hey God, Use that, those opportunities. I know for me, sometimes I feel an unction to pray. And I feel an unction to get in his presence. But I had to grow to that part. But I'm not going to tell somebody what they can't do or how long it should pray. And all this stuff. None of that stuff is biblical. God wants us to, you want to add to that, baby? Yeah. And, and, and another thing, too, is like, the only time I pray in my bed is when like I'm covering the church in my neighborhood when I'm about to go to sleep. Because anytime you pray your bed, your bed is already an atmosphere for you to go to sleep. So you will automatically get sleepy. So go to a, a place that, that's out of your element so it would be uncomfortable for you to be sleepy while you're praying. If it's your closet, if it's your kitchen, if it's your living room. Because if you're trying to pray in your bed, you're going to get sleepy. If you try to read the Bible in your bed, you're going to get sleep. Why? Because your bed is an atmosphere for you to go to sleep. It's already been conditioned for you to go to sleep. So get out of your natural elements and create an atmosphere. So I'm going in my closet to pray because I normally don't play in my closet. My closet. Or when you pray, stand up, whether it's five minutes, whether it's ten minutes. As long as it's a faith, like you said, the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous is available. So as long as you're praying a sincere, heartfelt, um, heartfelt prayer, heaven receives it. Yeah. And there's no proper way to pray. Some people pray all day. You go, God, help. I need help. I don't understand this. Help. Simple as that. It don't have to be super deep. Some people want to go and if you pray in tongues, that's fine. If you just pray in your own understanding, that's fine. As long as it's from the heart and as long as it's heartfelt, heaven receives it. Yeah. 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 Any more questions? Well, I don't ever want to close a service out without uh, seeing if someone needs to rededicate or if they need to commit to Christ that's even online. So if you're here in the building and you need to rededicate or you